So this is an update on my Percy Drive system. As you can see, I had some feedback from the children. They like the garden, they like Thomas, and they want it Percy next. So this should lever about this point as I remove it from the print bed. So let's find out. Holy shit, that actually works. Just gotta take a bit of cleaning up, but I think all in all, that's not bad for what this little printer can do for a first attempt. Unfortunately, I had some issues with my model at this point, and they're just a little bit too long and don't quite work. So, I did a little bit of fettling, um, cut them and re-glued them, and I trimmed the end a little bit so it goes into the, um, the piston block, I guess, is what you call that. And now the linker rods do work, slightly, but it just flops out, so I think I've cut it a little bit too short. So I need to pop that open there, make it a little bit longer, and make it so it actually functions properly. Mm. I've given it a bit of a healthy fettle, and now... That side's not doing... Oh, it's stalled. What's going on there? Let's have a look. Okay, so this actually does work and it runs a bit. The problem is, every time these connectors, rods, get to the top, they interact with these, as you can see, which actually has been trimmed to perfect length, so don't amend that, make it a bit of filler, make it look nice. Um, because of this interaction here, they're too close. So what I need to do is I need to cut here and here and extend them out ever so slightly just so there's enough room for them, uh, the connectors, to run up and down nicely. It's actually working. So here you can see it running nicely on the desk with no chassis and I'm pretty happy with that. And here it is all together with the case on and it all runs really nicely. I'm quite looking forward to getting it painted and building the power system.